uh, Suplex City. Yep. And uh, there you just see the way that he's molded to other players. Kool Aid as well. Another person, you know, if Matty G can't go out, he'll find somebody to uh, team with dubs. Right now, we're going to finally be getting into game number one here. The other side of Winter Semis, we've got Mars and Mr. E versus Jen and Kool Aid. Yeah, this is going to be a sick match for sure. Wow. See, already you see Laid opening with dash attack with Lucina. Quite obviously her worst move. If, you know what's uh, funny? Mars literally off stream a little while ago. He's like, Laid is the type of person to think, huh, let me go intentionally dash attack with Lucina and play like a weenie. Like, it, it's just the fact that he does things like that unorthodox is what throws people off. And it's what's so unique about his play style. We call them Kool-Aid options in New England. Yep. Patented by Hazmat. Yeah, uh, dude. I've been thinking that for years, but to hear it like actually coined as a term, it's beautiful. I think actually I've heard Haz say that before too. Mm -hmm. Particularly with the fact, well, that all oh. aside, up B is killing from the old Sheik stuff. We got the boost kicks constantly killing from ours. All right, look at the stage control right now from um, Mr. Ian e Mars. Sorry, I keep thinking like, oh, wait, which Lucina is which? Yeah, you got to catch which is which. They're yeah. both literally just hopping around them, exerting pressure, and they were both stuck in shield for a solid few seconds there. They haven't really had full stage control so far this set. Well, the yellow team, excuse me. All right. This is already kind of a bloodbath with the late going out so early, but plenty of time to come back from this. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, got the sour hit of Dolphin Slash. There you go. Yeah, just back off of the 1v1s, go for your teammate, commit, and get that kill. It's simplicity is always key when it comes to dubs. Oh, fair to roll. Yeah, again, Kool-Aid options for sure. I like that from Jen, just trying to get to the other side of Mars, mm -hmm. not get kicked in the face by the back throw. Yeah, that way you could just put out that Nair, try and force Mars back into a situation where maybe they can try and go double team Mr. E. But Mr. E has always been such a good stock taker. Like, you, you figured the point would be to attack Mars. Mars can attack you, though. Kool-Aid going down yet another stock. Yeah, Mars and E really crushing it right now. Oh, Jen getting away with that teleport onto the stage, though. Okay. This could be big. Oh, no. Lay just waiting a little bit too long to swing. AC. Meanwhile, Jen just kind of standing in front of Mr. E, like, you're not coming to protect your teammate. I'm going to stay here. And he was still able to get that Nair, but first stock finally gone for Mr. E going down. Oh, that would have been barely so missing that there. That would have been great. Yeah, late, of course, showing some serious player versus player knowledge against Mars. Of course, both being residents of Massachusetts. These guys are squaring off at locals pretty much any time they both attend one because they make it so far in the bracket. Yeah, usually that's where the handshake goes, like, all right, I'm getting my first place paycheck. Uh, here's your second place, Late. But Late does get those Ws every once in a while. He understands the like the little things about Mars' play style that just make him so explosive as a player. Oh, Jen missing the turnaround. That could have been a punish. Nothing too serious, though. It looks like he went for jab. All right, time for Late and Jen to get some damage in. No. Nothing too serious. Even though they're behind a stock, two stocks now, they, they're definitely making some more adjustments that are making sense. Other than the fact that Kool-Aid just went down, I think going into this next game, we're going to be seeing a little bit better in terms of the way that the controlling stays, but right now it's just all blue team show. Jen with a really healthy stock right now. If he does manage to get rid of Mr. E nice and quick, eh, I mean, it's possible, right? But 2v1s at all. Extremely difficult in Smash. Yeah, Palatina having to commit fully to those nares and such. You do have the short hop fairs and everything as well. But what Jen wants to go for in terms of big bread and butter combos, it's going to lead to a big punish from one of these other characters. You've got to be very careful. Oh, the taunt cancel into shield. Mars almost saying, hey, come at me, bro. Wow, is that going to actually kill him? No way. I was going to say, like, the percent's way too low, but mm -hmm. you never know. Boost kick is ridiculously strong in this game. Yeah, being able to just keep him at the corner as well. Like, that's, that's usually death for most. But another one at 86 at that same position should definitely close it out. Good defense from Jen, though, still making this match go on. Yeah, staying on the move for sure. Very crafty with his movement. This guy mm -hmm. is one of the most creative players out there. But it doesn't matter. You're going to meet his end to that boost kick. Yeah, that's one of those commitment moments I was talking about before. Like, you can try and go for something big and force Mr. E to the other side of the stage to try and maybe go for a throw. And then you have Mars running in right away. Very, very good initial dash speed from Zero Suit, being able to get that up B right away. Um, good, uh, good changes from the yellow team towards the end, but I think it all depends on how well they can start to control the fact that Mr. E is just hanging back and stock taking these stocks so well. Yeah, I think Mr. E is just one of those players who can fill any role in doubles. He could be the aggressor, he could be the tank. And that kind of versatility is what gets him so far in these brackets consistently. 
Yeah, that's how you make that money. You want to con continue to get there. A lot of times people won't look at the small details like that when they're trying to improve as a player. It's like, what is, a, what is it about us that makes us lose? Like, if I can't hold my stock this entire time, it doesn't matter. We're going into game number two here, running it right back to PS2. Comfort pick for so many players in this game. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone's going to complain about being here. And no one really bans it either. Yeah, no, definitely taking over the title of, uh, you know, just, just just go straight to PS2. Don't, don't try to strike. We're going to end up here anyways. Yeah, rip Smashville. For some reason, after they froze the stage, people liked it less. Whereas PS2, complete opposite. I think a big part of that was at the very beginning, Belmonts were so popular and people would just hide under that platform and just put such a bad taste in people's mouth. But this stage is just so good across the, like, for a, a board design in general. I know a lot of people don't like big stage designs, but this one definitely preaches, like, very balanced. Mars just feeding Mr. E these follow ups, and then he's feeding him right back. All right. Oh, no. Late almost dropping that stock, but I think. Because Plasma Whip is a little bit stale. Yeah, that possibly job. some good DI, but you can't DI that one that happened to Jen across the other side there. He's going to lose his first stock. Oh, third jab. Jen not ready to keep holding shield. Got some nice follow ups from the yellow team this time, though. I want to see them make a nice breakaway and mm -hmm. start getting some momentum. Are Back throw? No, okay. Just throwing down. I, I don't know. See, that's one of the things I got. I feel like if Jen were a double specialist, he would have gone for that back throw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, laid right in position. Yeah, just but to like feed it to your uh, your teammate. If you can't get something to finish, let your teammate take care of it. And that that's a huge factor in the strength of like the blue team right now. Is every time something's not something they can finish to play it on, Mars will be there to finish it. Or Mr. E will run it immediately. But well, that up throw is going to be what happens right there. It takes that first stock out on Kool-Aid. Oh, the B-reverse laser into the stage would have been so sick. If it caught the teleport. Wow! wow! You're a monster. You're rude. And that is a stock loss on Jed. Meanwhile, Mars going to lose his stock as well. And Mr. E trying to find his way back on. But Mars running him right away off the Angel platform to stop Kool-Aid. Yo, they call him Mars because this man is literally from another planet. They just busted him out of Area 51, brought him straight to defend the north. And he's got the ray gun to go along with it. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> Just sell one of those on the so black yo, market. Yo, me, bro. I got Raygun. <laughs> oh, Trump to bear. All right. Classic stuff from Paulo. That's going to take Mr. E's first stock. Yeah, but very slept on option in this game. Not as many Trumps happened because of the fact that it doesn't work as consistently. But it's a good thing to keep in your back pocket, uh, pocket to throw people off. Yeah, you can DI the Trump. It's a little harder to snag the edge when you run off, too. And that just contributes to it being a little bit underused. Ooh, Jen looking for a punish that wasn't there. That landing Lucina up air so safe. Wow, Mr. E gonna swing the forward smash after Nair, even though it didn't connect. He, he threw out the, he had a full jump there, threw out the back air, threw out the Nair, and knew that Jen was gonna try and approach anyways. Like, all right, I'm just gonna throw this out. I'm in center stage. Anything you hit me with, I'm still gonna be fine if we trade. You might die. All right, we're gonna see that explosive flame. Not take a stock, but at least keep the yellow team, or the blue team locked down for a second. Jen overshooting it. I think he wanted the close one. Maybe he tried to catch a retreat, though. And what happened a second ago is one of those things that we talked about before when it comes to team compositions. You saw that Jen decided to focus on Mars and said Mars finally going to lose his stock, but Kool-Aid back through to him, and he wasn't prepared to take out uh, Mr. E. I think as this match progresses, they're getting a little bit better, but they need to let, oh. just, let Mars just kill himself with a, <laughs> yeah. with a down air and bring this game back to even. Hey, not a horrible strategy. He does go for that so much. And it usually works out, but sometimes this man just bites off a little bit more than he can chew. I think he saw Mr. E had a second sock. He's like, you know what? He's I'm betting it all right now. He's batting 500 on it. Yeah. He had the successful one before, that time going off stage instead. Yeah, I'll take that 50% success rate. But since that SD, it's been a huge momentum shift in favor of the yellow team. Oh, until Jen goes out there. Now laid with his shot at the 2v1 here. Yeah, every time yellow team got momentum, it, they just couldn't close out the stocks. And if they were able to close out a lot more of these stocks, I think it would have been fine. Kool-Aid, however, been in these positions many times before. Oh, the coverage. All right, and wow, Mars actually did die from that too. So that could have been huge if Mr. E wasn't right there for the punish. But it's that kind of awareness mm -hmm. that makes him such a good team player. Yeah, that's very uh, very reminiscent of what happened with the uh, light Don set. When Don was about to die to that back air from... Uh, Jewel and Light ran in immediately and just got that up smash so he yeah. can close it out, intentionally taking a trade. Ma Mr. E knew, was like, all right, he's here, he's going to swing. Doesn't matter if I hit Mars, he's going to die. Exactly, it's completely worth it. Sometimes you got to trade your teammate in the process, but hey, if you're sealing out the game, mm -hmm. or at least, you know, trading the stocks is very worth it in terms of the percents, mm -hmm. go for it, man. Sometimes you got to throw your boy to the wolves. Hey, it's the difference or you between be the wolves. going to